at Warzone. It is going to be Kool-Aid Man versus Alan Rickman for the Fire Pro World Championship. Thank you, Kool-Aid Man. Now fuck you, Kool-Aid Man. Lose to Rickman. Superman versus Alan Rickman as Snape. Who is going to the finals to win that Fire Pro World Championship? And immediately, Alan Rickman trying to steal the win from Superman. And Superman not letting it happen. Superman covered in stitches after all the times he's been busted open here tonight. All the blood he spilled. And that's going to give Alan Rickman a massive advantage. Backbreaker into a toss, into a knee breaker. Superman trying to pull Superman's leg off. Now Superman diving out, not diving, running elbow drop into a pin, but no, still kick out at one. Neither of these men have had much time to rest, but nonetheless, they've still got all the energy. The adrenaline is rushing through them as Alan Rickman beats Superman down. Kicking him hard in the back of his head. Now thrown to the corner. Oh, goes for the kick. Superman circling him. Oh, big elbow to the back of Superman's head. Clothesline. Diving knee. Oh, somehow Alan Rickman still took Superman down there. Kicking him while he's down. Classic Alan Rickman move. Kind of just like a classic thing everyone does to Superman, actually. Boston Crab by Superman trying to rip the legs off. Picking him up. Oh, backbreaker into the slam. Into the ropes. Oh, and the super cutter. And somehow that still isn't the finish. Oh my god, burning hammer by Superman. How could you do that to him? Superman cocky pin. But Alan Rickman kicks out of the burning hammer. Unbelievable. Into a pin of his own. Still Superman kicking out as well. Alan Rickman, no, can't get him up. Power bomb. Could this be it? No. I thought he was going to go for the Superman punch. Not quite yet. And here it is. Blow for blow. Here in the semifinals. Alan Rickman super kick butt shoulder tackle by Superman. Takes them both down. Oh, but no, not a power bomb as Alan Rickman gets thrown outside. Superman taunts, strikes a pose. Alan Rickman back in the ring, going for some swift kicks. I don't know what he was playing there, but Superman takes him down. He's called the Man of Steel for a reason. Elbow drop, elbow drop. Oh my god, amazing kick to the back of the head. What is he planning here? Diving kick hits him in the back of the head. Is that going to be enough? No, he's not enough. Another kick to the back of the head. Trying to concuss Superman here. Oh, and he throws on him outside. Superman just trying to taunt. Catch his breath. But now, Superman getting him up. Oh my god. He just, he just flew him into the air and killed him. Clothesline. And he's still not done. Coup de grace. Just end it, Superman. You've already killed Alan Rickman. But no, he's fighting back, punching him hard in the head. Over in the corner. Massive kick. Can Alan Rickman turn this around despite seemingly just being murdered right then? The Snape escape. And Superman gets right back up. It's never enough. A second burning hammer. And he still isn't finished with him. Oh, a cutter. The absolute madman Superman won't just end the match. A third burning hammer. Followed by a diving headbutt. Just end the match, Superman. Three burning hammers is too much. Now it's Alan... I almost called him Alan Resnick. It's up to uh, Alan Rickman now to catch his breath while Superman's on the outside. Backbreaker slam. Oh yeah, he's real ripped 
showing off. This is Superman's heel turn after doing all this and a cocky pin that's clearly gonna not be the end of the match. Alan Rickman hanging on, tying up Superman's arms. We haven't seen that in this match yet. Oh, but Superman fighting out of it. Oh, and there's that man is still this time taking them both down. Who's gonna be the first one up? Oh, they both got it basically at the same time. Great takedown by Superman. Big elbow drop, cocky pin. This time, Alan Rickman immediately pushes him off. He's sick of it. Backbreaker slam of his own. Moving him further into the ring. Oh, Alan Rickman showing off. Heel kick. Oh, Superman just trying to punch him to fight back. Superman punch. Elbow drop into the cocky pin. And still not enough. Alan Rickman does not want to be taken out by the cocky pin. He will not let the ego of Superman shine here. Oh my god, release German suplex. Has Alan Rickman... Is, is this a double turn? Has Superman become a huge asshole and Alan Rickman become the hero we need? Cutter. Diving forearm. Throwing Superman into the corner. Oh, oh my god, look at those moves by Alan Rickman. Unbelievable. Getting him up. Power bomb into the turnbuckle. Oh, he saw Superman getting up. Release German suplex once again. Going up top. Superman diving crossbody. Alan Rickman dodges the kick, but still gets thrown to the ropes and just thrown aside like he's nothing. Diving elbow into the pin. I think that's got to be it. Still, no, Alan Rickman stays fighting. He won't give in. Suplex. Elbow drop by Superman into the cocky pin. Oh, it's still not enough. I'm rooting for Alan Rickman now. <gasps> the triple power bombs. One, two... Three, this match has made me a believer in Alan Rickman. He's made it to the semifinals, and I'm no longer upset about it. Lots of blood? Oh, thank God. Base Tinky Winky. Alan Rickman versus Atticus Finch in the final round of this de not deathmatch tournament, of this gruesome fight. He's gonna rip his arm off! Oh, God. Make room for Booty Daddy. Oh, God, is that the... I've never seen any of these emotes. If raid is offensive, moderate in chat settings. Twitch, calm down. It's not NL raid, boys. Atticus for the win. Atticus is my pick to win this tournament. I, I, I had one open slot for this tournament, so I did an eight-man match, and Atticus Finch tapped out like six of the eight dudes. It was absolutely ridiculous. Alan Rickman. That is Mr. Clean. Mr. Clean is the tournament, because these fights are going to get dirty, and we got to make sure they don't get too dirty here. Pikachu is stabbing people in the head. That's why dysentery happens. Alan Rickman, uh, runner-up of the tournament I held a couple weeks ago, earning him a right to be in this tournament. He's not dressed as Snape for this one, though. Big kick to Atticus Finch. The cleaner. Seeing Harry Potter gotta go for Rickman. He was dressed as Snape before. I didn't dress him up, though. He's, he's getting rid of the costume. He's I don't, I don't mean, like, I guess dressing as Snape would probably be easier to fight in the full-on business suit. But, you know, Alec Atticus Finch is doing the same thing. So I can't really say it's a disadvantage. I usually try to remain unbiased, but God, I hope Al... Not Alan Rickman. I hope Atticus Finch just rips everyone's arms off. Approaching the end of round one here. Leg sweep! This is... Why, why is this... Mad, why are they both so agile? There's the end of round one. As we enter round two here. Choke holds. Jesus Christ, Atticus Finch! He's like a spider. Oh, but Alan Rickman dead left German. Going for the armbar. Shoulder tackles. No. Bill Galbo. Mockingbird to kill a Rickman. What was that? Why did he do like a little flip in the armbar? Break his leg. Snapper tap. Big backbreaker. Another leg sweep. They're so exhausted. They've given everything. Who's the big dog here? Probably Atticus Finch. I think Atticus Finch is the big dog. Either him or Tinky Winky. 
Tinky Winky is just so thick. Oh, into a triangle! Out of the power bomb. Leg sweep. Big punch. Al Alan Rickman. No, no fucks given. He's just going in. Atticus punching him hard in the head. Attica, man, Attica. I can't root against Gregory Peck. Snapper tap. Why does round two felt so much longer? This should have been the finale. This should have been the last match of the night. Why is this a round one match? Random generator, why have you done this? Whoever wins this is going all the way. I, I, I don't see it. This could just go to decision. This could go all three rounds. That's the end of the round. I think Alan Rickman's barely survived. Shame thing is, Atticus is not a man of violence, but he will do what he has to to protect his loved ones. That's, he's got to pay those bills, alright? His son might be called a gym, but he's worthless. Alan Rickman. Getting thrown right back down by Atticus Finch. Big fan of the hold is Atticus. Oh my god, Alan Rickman just won! No! Atticus Finch. Taken down. I think they both just fell to the ground and Atticus just like broke his neck. Oh, it was a German suplex. Good lord. That's what Snape. <laughs> the crowd. Boeing. This is Hans Gruber. That's not true. Hogan wasn't in uh, Mick Foley vs. Superman. Even though Superman did the taunt, he was just mocking Hogan. We could get a Superman vs. Hogan feud. Oh! Ted Cruz tried to take down Kool-Aid Man quick. Now remember all of the powers Kool-Aid Man has obtained over his years. Not over his years. Over his weeks of fighting. He has purified dragon's blood. He has the all spark. He has the millennium rod all mixed in with his Kool-Aid. Can he obtain the mystery of the Zodiac Killer to add to his collection here? Can Ted Cruz take him out? Except the last two. I don't even remember what the match was in. <laughs> that's true, that's true. He wasn't in the uh the tile match. Cause they <laughs> barely was everyone was wearing barely clothes. You could tell if it was Hogan or not. Ted Cruz really doing his best trying to get Kool-Aid Man to tap out, but Kool-Aid Man is a submission expert himself. Kool-Aid Man may be the only one who can stop Hulk Hogan. That's if Kool-Aid Man can stop Ted Cruz here tonight. Boston Crab. Oh, big uh, arm drag there. Another arm drag. Ted Cruz really giving it all he's got. Oh, big Northern Lights suplex from Kool-Aid Man. Into a knee bar. Ted Cruz able to kick his way out of it, though. Big slam. World title on the line as these two competitors go blow for blow. Ted Cruz choking out Kool-Aid Man makes it to the ropes. Oh, takes out his knee. Oh, DDT. Oh, no. Well, goes for the choke slam. But Ted Cruz able to fight out of it into a headlock, though. I think Kool-Aid Man's tired. Kool-Aid Man may be finally worn out. Tired of defeating his title. Zodiac Killer! Into the pin, one! No, a kick out at one from Kool-Aid Man. This could be Ted Cruz's chance. Spine Buster. Kool-Aid Man could be tired from defending his title every week. <coughs> oh, Ted Cruz takes him down to the ground. I don't know what Ted Cruz is planning here. DDT. But it's been working so far, it seems. Another Irish whip. I think Ted Cruz out of breath. Maybe still exhausted from his battle against the Time God, Bert. Oh, another shoulder tackle. Two. 2.9, Ted Cruz. What the hell's wrong with Ted Cruz? Is he having, like, panic attacks from all the symbol knee bar? Is he having panic attacks from all the symbolism reminding him that he's the Zodiac Killer? Is he freaking out about that? Northern Light Suplex. I don't know who I want to win. I want my boy Cruz to win, but could maybe the only one to stop going. Zodiac Killer! The Bamboozler! 
Will Hogan is not Hogan. Will Kool Aid Man escape into the ropes? Oh, octopus stretch! Kool Aid Man knees him in the face. Kool Aid clutch. He's defending the title so much with it. No. Big elbow from Cruz. Sending him into the corner. Oh, what a forearm! Stomping him down now. DDT. Kool Aid Man in trouble. From behind the knee bar again! That rascally Kool Aid Man! And a spear takes Ted Cruz down. Irish whip into the rope. Superman punch! Ted Cruz in trouble. It's Northern Lights from Cruz. Zodiac Killer up top. Super elbow drop. Another elbow drop. He knows he needs more to take out Kool-Aid Man. Throwing him to the outside. Trying to just get a moment to catch his breath. But Kool-Aid Man's not going to give it to him. And they're going blow for blow. He says, no, no, no. Shoulder tackle. Kool-Aid Man gets up with a shoulder tackle of his own. Iris whipping into the corner yet again. Being very careful not to get caught off guard. Goes for the ground pound. Boston Crab. Kool-Aid Man trying to get to the ropes. And he does. Oh! Kool-Aid Man stabbing him, trying to add Kool-Aid Man. I mean, I'm sorry, Ted Cruz stabbing him, trying to add Kool-Aid Man to his list of victims. Taking him out. Oh! Triangle choke by Kool-Aid Man, but there's a rope break. All from behind. Back body suplex. Ted Cruz having another panic attack. It could cost him as Kool-Aid Man gets him from behind. Oh, clothesline. Kool-Aid Clutch! Ted Cruz able to break out of it. He's still panicking. Is Ted Cruz gonna choke DDT? He's just, his heart's not as good as it used to be in his heyday as the killer. Kool-Aid Man making it to the ropes. DDT once again. Into the corner now. Oh, what a forearm. Throwing Kool-Aid Man into the, another corner. And trying to keep him in it. Booting him down. Trying to smash that smash that pitcher. Center of the ring has him up. Oh yeah! To the outside! Ted Cruz could be completely... Have, wait, what does he have? What is He's got a sledgehammer, Kool-Aid Man. DDT caught Kool-Aid Man off guard. Into the pin. One, two. No, oh, 2.9. Headlock, but that's a rope break. Trying to do it all. Triangle choke. It's so close. Elbow drop. This is the closest Kool-Aid man's ever been to losing the title. Into the ropes from behind. Oh, stunner. Was a stunner. It was actually more like an RKO of some kind. A cutter. Kool-Aid cutter. Into the ropes, takes him down. Kool-Aid clutch, this is it! Ted Cruz is gonna tap! No, he fought out of it somehow. Center of the ring. Gets him up. Oh, weasel from knee bar! Oh, rope break. Goes up top. No, knew not to jump. Stabbing Kool-Aid man once again. That dirty Zodiac killer, Northern Lights suplex. Up top, elbow drop, misses. Oh, he's in trouble. Kool-Aid Man's high. Kool-Aid Clutch. Oh, and Ted Cruz still escapes. And another stabbing. Ted Cruz really trying to murder him. It's the only way he can get that title is by killing Kool-Aid Man. Another Kool-Aid Clutch. If he's not going to make Ted Cruz tap that way, he's going to wear him out. He's saying the Pledge of Allegiance. And he's he's waving to his voters. He's gonna be the fire promotion. Oh, Kool Aid Man giving him a taste of his own medicine. Turnabout's fair play here in Fire Pro World Wrestling. <coughs> Kool Aid Clutch. But Ted Cruz still in it gets to the ropes. Irish Whip. Oh, Octopus Stretch. Takedown. Oh, Triangle Choke. 
Road break. This is insane. Thrown to the outside. Ted Cruz coming after him now. Oh, knee bar on the outside. Nowhere for Ted Cruz to go. Northern Lights. The count is on. Kool-Aid Man's in the ring. So is Ted Cruz. Spear! And we all know the spear leads to the Kool-Aid Clutch. Center of the ring. Ted Cruz got nowhere to go, but he's able to fight out of it. Submission showcase. Oh, yeah! Into the pin. One, two, three. Kool-Aid Man retains the world title once again. The finale. One of these two, and honestly, I'll be super happy with either the underdog story of the century in Alan Rickman or the absolute monster of Kool-Aid Man, who will be our Fire Pro World Champion. Alan Rickman trying to mix some beef stew with the Kool-Aid. Kool-Aid Man having nothing. Hits the spear already into a heel hook. Oh, Donker, it's so exciting. Who it gonna be? Big punches. Oh, and a bag breaker into a toss. Learn that move from the soup. Alan, oh, and another spear. I don't know if we've ever seen Kool-Aid Man hit two spears in a match. Definitely never in the first minute and a half. Alan Rickman has him up. Oh, no. Reverses the tombstone into a tombstone of his own. Center of the ring going for the pin off the reverse tombstone, but no, Kool-Aid Man's still not ready for it. Dead center of the ring. Elbow. The Kulak trying to make him tap out like he did Donkey Kong. But he's able to break out of the submission maneuver. And there's another reverse tombstone pile driver. Kool-Aid Man really needs to focus less on the tombstones. Because Alan Rickman has a check for it. And it's called another tombstone. Speak of the devil. The triple power bombs. Into the pin. One. Two. Oh, but Kool-Aid Man still in it. Oh, misses the spear, and that could be catastrophic for him. The Snape escape. Is this it for Kool-Aid Man? No. Well, they've already... They're not going to be the shortest match of the night, that's for sure. He'll hook. Alan Rickman making it out of there. Oh, my God. Went to tie up his arms, but Kool-Aid Man took advantage of it and tried to steal the win, but was unsuccessful. <gasps> the, oh yeah, dead center of the ring into the pin. One, two, three, no! Alan Rickman kicks out. No shenanigans, just kicked out of the, oh yeah, uppercut, punch, blow for blow. And honestly, I think it's too close to call to say that they definitely have it. Super kick. Shoulder tackle, both men down. As Alan Rickman gets him up. And this time ties up his arms successfully. Kool-Aid Man gets out of it. Oh, but Alan Rickman's just pummeling him to the ground. Rickman's got him up. Coming from behind. Oh, and a sleeper hold. But Kool-Aid Man makes it to the ropes. And a backbreaker toss. Alan Rickman. Looking to call for the end here. Picking him up. Throwing him in the ropes. Big boot. And a deadlift German. Kool-Aid Man now throwing him into the ropes. Power bomb. One of these men. First ever Fire Pro World Champion. Headbutt. Kulak. Can he make Alan Rickman tap? No. No. But the, oh yeah, this is it. Alan Rickman's gone. One, two, no. Alan Rickman is spear. I, I, I don't see Alan Rickman winning this, but I didn't see Alan Rickman winning any of the matches. Oh, Alan Rickman's still kicking out of the spear as well, giving everything he's got. Big triple power bomb. Dragging him away from the ropes into the pin. One, two. Oh, but Kool-Aid Man staying in as well. Into the corner. Oh, and the mighty fast fists and feet of Alan Rickman. <gasps> but an oh yeah out of nowhere, sending him to the outside. Kool-Aid Man going to take this opportunity to catch his breath. 
You good boy, Bubber. And there's a Snape escape. But Kool-Aid Man gets right back up into a tombstone pile driver. Flipping him over. Thought he was going to go for the Kulak. Oh, reverses the punch. And there's a Kulak. Alan Rickman's right by the ropes, though. And he makes it. Big kick to Alan Rickman. Takes him down. And another Kulak. I think this could be it. And Alan Rickman has the tap. Kool-Aid Man is your first ever Fire Pro World Champion. Alan Rickman came far. We can take nothing away from him except for that title belt, which I guess it isn't taken away from him. And of course, this is our main event. But the biggest question of all, heading into wars... Hell, this is a fucking, like... This should be our WrestleMania right here, is this match. The real question I have to ask as we end it, as we go into Warzone, will Kool-Aid Man face Alan Rickman or Cerverus Snape? You'll have to tune in next Saturday to find out. Thank you all for joining here tonight, and I will see you next time.